Step back to 1973 and y'all find Paper Moon, a cinematic gem that has stood the test of time. What enduring qualities make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? This is a question worth pondering as we delve into the charm and wit of this classic film. Paper Moon weaves a tale of con artistry set against the backdrop of the Great Depression, starring Ryan O'Neill and his real-life daughter Tottenham O'Neill. The chemistry between this unconventional duo is palpable, adding an authentic layer to their on-screen dynamic. The film's black and white cinematography, capturing the stark realities of its era, contributes to its timeless appeal. As you revisit this cinematic masterpiece, consider your own cherished memories associated with Paper Moon. Was it a lazy Sunday afternoon with family or a spontaneous movie night with friends that etched this film into your personal history? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Paper Moon? Share your thoughts and let the conversation flow. Now, let's uncover some random facts about the show. Did you know that Tottenham O'Neill, at just 10 years old, became the youngest actor to win an Academy Award for her role in Paper Moon? It's one of those fascinating tidbits that adds another layer of intrigue to this cinematic classic. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or discovering Paper Moon for the first time, there's always something new to appreciate about this timeless piece of cinema. Dive into the nostalgia and share your thoughts. The comments await your stories. Paper Moon, directed by Peter Bogdanovich in 1973, is a cinematic gem that seamlessly blends comedy and drama against the backdrop of the Great Depression. Adapted from Joe David Brown's novel, the film follows the unlikely duo of Moses Prey, a con artist played by Ryan O'Neill, and Addie Loggins, a wise beyond her years orphan portrayed by his real-life daughter, Tottenham O'Neill. The narrative unfolds as Moses reluctantly agrees to escort Addie to her relatives, embarking on a road trip filled with scams and unexpected bonding. The film's unique charm lies in the genuine chemistry between the O'Neills, their impeccable performances, and the black and white cinematography that nostalgically captures the era. Paper Moon not only earned Tottenham O'Neill an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, but also left an indelible mark on popular culture with its blend of humor, heart, and a captivating father-daughter dynamic. Its influence is evident in subsequent films exploring unconventional partnerships and the enduring appeal of period pieces. A classic that stands the test of time, Paper Moon remains a testament to the magic that can unfold on the silver screen. In the 1973 movie Paper Moon, director Peter Bogdanovich discovered a young talent in P.J. Johnson. At just 15 years old, Johnson, a Houston schoolgirl, boldly walked up to Bogdanovich during her audition for the role of Imogen and exclaimed, Who are we? You good looking. Impressed with her audacity, Bogdanovich promptly granted her the part. P.J. Johnson's journey to the role of Imogen marked the beginning of her local celebrity status in Houston after the film's release. Her candid interaction with Bob Dunovich not only secured her a place in the movie, but also hinted at the unconventional charm that Paper Moon brought to the silver screen. This behind-the-scenes anecdote sheds light on the casting process and the director's willingness to recognize raw talent. As we delve into the film's history, it's fascinating to learn about the varied paths that led individuals to become part of this cinematic gem. Stay tuned for more insights into the making of Paper Moon, where each detail contributes to the unique blend of humor, heart, and captivating performances that have made it a timeless classic. In the making of the 1973 film Paper Moon, a behind-the-scenes revelation adds a layer of intrigue to its production. Production designer Polly Platt, tasked with finding Ryan O'Neill's character Moses Prey the perfect seersucker suit, stumbled upon a piece of cinematic history. The chosen suit, worn by O'Neill in the film, had a telling detail, a strip of tape inside it indicating that it had been previously worn by George Raft in another movie, though the specific title remained undisclosed. This discovery not only highlights the meticulous attention to detail in the film's wardrobe, but also connects Paper Moon to the broader history of Hollywood costumes. The reuse of garments, especially those worn by iconic actors like George Raft, adds a subtle layer of authenticity to the film's visual narrative. Platt's find becomes a bridge between the contemporary production of Paper Moon and the bygone era of classic Hollywood cinema. 
This anecdote offers a glimpse into the collaborative effort that went into creating the film's visual identity, showcasing the dedication of the production team to capturing the essence of the Great Depression era. It also prompts us to consider the unseen connections between different films and the shared history embedded in the costumes worn by Hollywood's leading figures. As we continue exploring the intricate details behind Paper Moon, we'll uncover more fascinating insights that contribute to the film's enduring legacy and the unique blend of elements that make it a timeless classic. Titled Addie Prey in its initial stages, the 1973 film Paper Moon underwent significant changes before its release. Originally intended as a color movie directed by John Huston and starring Paul Newman and his daughter Nell Potts, the project evolved into the cinematic gem we know today. The decision to shift from color to black and white, the casting of Ryan O'Neill and his real-life daughter Tatum O'Neill, and the direction by Peter Bogdanovich all played pivotal roles in shaping the film's unique identity against the backdrop of the Great Depression. The film's impact extended beyond the silver screen, attempting to find success on television with the 1974 series Paper Moon, featuring Jodie Foster. However, the TV adaptation failed to capture the essence that made the original movie a timeless classic. One notable aspect of Paper Moon's production is a remarkable log. One take sequence where Addie and Mose engage in a heated argument about running out of Bibles. Directed by Bob Donovich, this challenging scene required two days and 39 takes to achieve perfection. Shot on a one-mile stretch of road, the logistical complexities added an extra layer of difficulty to the filming process, demonstrating the dedication to capturing authentic and impactful moments on screen. In exploring the behind-the-scenes details of Paper Moon, it's evident that the film underwent a series of transformations, ultimately becoming a black and white masterpiece that continues to resonate with audiences. The decision to deviate from its original concept and the challenges faced during filming contribute to the movie's enduring legacy, showcasing the dynamic nature of filmmaking. As we bid adieu to our cinematic journey through the enchanting world of Paper Moon, let the echoes of nostalgia linger in the corridors of your mind. This 1973 masterpiece isn't just celluloid, it's a portal to a bygone era where the sepia tones of memory blend seamlessly with the black and white charm of the film. As the credits roll, take a moment to savor the intricate dance of innocence and wit as witnessed in the remarkable performances of Ryan O'Neill and Tottenham O'Neill. Reflect on the dusty roads, the vintage charm of the Depression-era backdrop, and the heartwarming tale that unfolds like a delicate origami, each crease revealing a new facet of human connection. Now, let's turn the spotlight on you, dear reader, viewer. What resonated with you in this cinematic gem? Was it the palpable chemistry between the characters, the clever dialogues, or the evocative cinematography that etched Paper Moon into your memory? Share your reflections, your favorite scenes, or the emotions it stirred within you. Let this discussion be a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the personal connections we forge with the films that touch our hearts. In the realm of cinema, every viewer brings a unique lens, and your perspective is a valuable brushstroke in the grand masterpiece of collective experience. So, don't be shy, open the doors of dialogue, let your thoughts flow like a meandering river, and let us revel in the tapestry of shared memories. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic voyage, for allowing Paper Moon to be not just a film, but a conversation, a memory, a shared experience. Your time and thoughts are treasures, and we're grateful for the moments spent together in this exploration of celluloid magic. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, happy reflecting, and may your memories of Paper Moon be as enduring as the classic itself.